Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Wednesday, May 8, reveal that Dante Falconeri will annul now that Anna Devane has rejected his abdication. Once Dante gives Sam McCall updates on his talk with Anna, he'll ask if she'll stay with him if he's still a Bobby. Sam was looking forward to not having to worry about Dant being in constant peril. But she should make peace with his bad news. Although Sam was hoping for a change, she's used to Dante's parlous job and can hopefully still accept it. Meanwhile, Harrison Chase will bandy a big problem with Hamilton Finn ahead of the marriage. So there may be some enterprises about Gregory Chase's decline and his resistance to accepting help. At some point, Chase will track down Brooklyn Quartermain, so they'll have a chance to talk about their forthcoming espousal and any final medications that need to be made. As for John Jagger, Kate's heel feel like he owes Brooklyn in reason. That could involve smoothing effects over regarding John's history, Danny Morgan intimidation, since Brooklyn came to Danny's deliverance. Also again, perhaps John has done commodity differently he wants to apologize for. There might indeed be some little hiatus in Wednesday's occasion that leads to John letting Brooklyn know that he's sorry. Whatever the case, John will indeed offer in reason and will have a catch. Obsession with Lois Cirillo as well. Next, Laura Collins will fill Kevin Collins in on her visit to Pentonville and admit that she's empathizing with Heather Weber. Although Heather has taken multiple lives, she now understands how horrible that was and can indeed sound why she allowed. She had to do that for Esmond Prince. Laura may feel shamefaced on some position for the empathy she's feeling, but Kevin may contend that just means Laura has a kind and forgiving heart. Of course, Laura isn't willing to give Sonny Corintos a pass for his miscalculations but that's substantially because she does not believe he's sorry or willing to change. Over with Jason Morgan, he will open up to Anna about the Carly influence that John's holding over him. It sounds like Jason will bandy the details of Carly's Ryko violations and all the felonious conspiracy drama. Jason formerly advised Anna that Carly could no way know the verity. But he'll reiterate that on Wednesday's GH occasion, still, Jason will know exactly what her response is going to be, and that's why he will want to avoid it. If Carly finds out the real story, Jason won't want Carly feeling shamefaced or indeed trying to turn herself in as a way to get him off the hook with the FBI. Eventually, Carly will pay Jack Brennan a visit at Pentonville, so he'll light up when he sees her and admit his day just got 100% better. General Hospital spoilers say Carly will interrogate Brennan about Pikeman as she works to uncover further information. But our prognostications allude that he may be more interested in flirting and stonewalling. General Hospital spoilers reveal that Carly Spencer could find herself on a date with John Jagger, Dainties, ultimately. Once Carly came to John's deliverance after his beating, they both saw a new side of each other. In the fate of that fire, John flirted with Carly and indeed gave her his phone number. Carly ended up smiling over the exchange and clearly seems interested in potentially taking her new bond with John in a romantic direction. Still, G&H suckers know there's a big problem since John is the one who's made Jason so miserable these last couple of times. John has been hanging to lock Carly up on Ryko violations and felonious conspiracy charges so Jason has had no choice but to fall in line. What will it take for Jason to eventually come clean about that? Jason is not supposed to reveal the details of his FBI arrangement, but we all know Carly has to find out the verity one way or another. You can go Jason will disapprove if John takes Carly on a date or indeed hits the waist with her. This could be the last straw that forces Jason to make some changes and illuminate effects for Carly. Considering the fact that John has the power to shoot Carly to captivity and has constantly used it against Jason, it'd be reasonable for Jason to confess at some point. Jason surely won't stand by and let John pull Carly too near under the circumstances. Of course, Jason's concession could change everything for Carly. 
It may leave Carly more emotional than ever when it comes to the depth of her fellowship with Jason and what he's willing to immolate for her. That said, it could also make Carly determined to break Jason free from the hold John has on him. Carly and Jason could end up doing plenitude of bickering when it comes to how far Carly's willing to go to stop the madness. Jason may talk Carly out of doing anything that could peril her freedom and help her from raising Donna Corintos, who needs her mama further than ever considering Sonny Corintas' internal state. Nonetheless, Carly could turn on John in a big way. Whatever romantic clamors were there ahead could dematerialize in a moment, so John could make a major adversary out of Carly. Our prognostications point to Carly chancing out the whole unattractive story sooner or latterly, so stay tuned to see if Jason will be the one to break the news about John's influence. General Hospital spoilers say Carly and John's newfound bond is going to blow up big time. So we'll bring you updates on all the chaos ahead. Danny Falconeri breaks some bad news, Laura Collins has an attack of heart, and John Jagger Cates apologizes. Danny's bad news at home. Danny has to break some bad news to Sam McCall, who was hoping Dante would leave the dangerous world of the PCPD. Sam's in gashes as he asks if she'll still stay with him if he's still a Bobby. Anne and Devane talked him out of his abdication. Still, there are caveats he keeps his Bobby. Life down from anything that indeed smacks of sunny Corinthos. That had been where his conflicts laid, and Anna told him she'd reassign those cases to someone not so close. Being a Bobby. And being the son of a toughie had always been a conflict of interest for Dante. Family problems at the sanitarium. Harrison Chase talks to Hamilton Finn in his office that are obviously agitating family problems. Trending. The truth about Nancy, Lee Gran, and plastic surgery, they're likely talking about their father, Gregory Chase's fleetly progressing ALS opinion, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Chase tells Finn there's just one big problem, and it's also egregious Chase isn't happy. Greg had been staying in Finn's apartment until extremity happed with Violet Finn getting into a scary situation and having to get Greg's oxygen for him since also, They've been trying to find results for their father to be safe. Laura's attack of conscience at the Metro Court. Laura seems to be having an attack of heart after visiting Heather Weber at Pentonville and their heart. Two heart talk. She'd given Heather a print of their collective grandson Ace Prince. Cassidine, which made Heather veritably happy. Still, indeed, if the cobalt poisoning from her hipster is in relief, may have made Heather a killer of several people. Laura felt compassion. Now she talks to Kevin Collins and feels bad, saying, I'm empathizing with a periodical killer. At Bobby's, Jagger approaches Brooklyn Quartermain and tells her he owes her in reason. Brooklyn looks a little surprised. He didn't make a good print at each when she had to run him off the Quartermain property. That was when he was looking for Jason Morgan and questioning Danny Morgan about his father. He may be apologizing for that. Indeed, though it's been several weeks ago now, He'll also catch up with Lois Cerullo, who's presumably with Brooklyn. Jason's confession away, Jason is talking to Anna, and he has a concession for her. He tells her what the FBI has on him, which involves Carly Spencer trending. General Hospital spoilers Willow, and Nina's tender reconciliation. Can it last this time? He's been guarding Carly from being penalized for felonious acts when she compactly took over Sonny Corinto's, Organization this was when Sonny was in Nixon Falls presumed dead and he was on the run in Canada with Brit Westbourne Jason tells Anna if Carly ever finds out he knows exactly what her response is going to be. And he won't it be suitable to live with himself if he doesn't continue guarding her and doing Jagger's bidding. Carly's captivity visit in the meantime Carly, who stayed before in the coffee storehouse wiretapping on Jagger and Jason's discussion visits Jack Brennan in Pentonville. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.